In this little video clip, I'll be um, talking about list validations in SharePoint. Of course, you get um, column validations as well, and you get calculated columns. But for now, we'll focus on list validations. Now, if I go to my custom list, you'll see that I've got an order date and a delivery date column. What, what I'd like to achieve is that, um, that there must be a validation that the delivery date must be greater than the order date. So let's go to list settings. So I'm going to be going to validation settings and what I'd like to achieve is to um, set it up that the dates must be validated. So the one date must be greater than the other one. And this looks very, very similar to the formula builder that you see in the calculated columns as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say go say equal, same as what we do with the formulas in Excel. I'm going to say delivery date and then greater than and then I'm going to simply click on order date. That's how easy that is. And then I can put a message at the bottom as well to say please select a delivery date greater than the order date and save so let's test this out let's go back to our list and i'm going to add an item and see if that validation works so remember the validation that we set up we said the delivery date must be greater than the order date so i'm going to just say uh, product product one and uh, order date, I will pick today. And then delivery date, I will pick um, the fourth. And let's save that. Yep, it says please select the delivery date greater than the order date. Let's uh, try a test and select today's date and see what it does. Same story. Let's select tomorrow's date and see if that works. And that's sorted. So I want to set up another validation. I'm going to go back to my list settings and I'm going back to uh, my validation settings. And this one, I actually want to specify the amount of days that the order date must um, extend the, the deliver. Well, the delivery date must be greater than the order date. So let's go to uh, the validation settings. I'm going to take that out. And this time I'm going to say equal delivery date. Again, I'm going to say it must be greater than the order date. And um, But then at the end of that, I'm going to just add days. I'm going to say plus 14. So please select a delivery date um, uh, more than 14 days after order date. Not a great message, but we'll make that work. So let's see if that works, and then we're going to go back to the list and test that. Sweet. So let's go new. I'm going to go uh, product, product two. I'm going to go order date today, and I'm going to go delivery date. So let's do a test. We said 14 days, right? So 13 plus uh, is 18. Let's try the 18th. doesn't work let's try the 19th because technically the 19th is 14 days but it must probably includes the last day so that still doesn't work which means that if I had to say 20 days so there would be a gap of 14 days in between 20th would work so there's a great little tip for you out of the box SharePoint functionality um, helps you to set up list validations please keep in mind that this is also available on premises so even though your settings might sit in a different place, you still have a ribbon at the top, same story. So I uh, hope you have fun with this and I hope it saves you a lot of time.